Hi, my name's Dan and I'm from Build Exact. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you got a quote request uh, from someone using Build Exact as either an email or a text message, and it looks something like this. This video is going to go through what you need to do to get your quote back to that person. I'm going to go view quote request here. And it'll pop up in a new window. Whether you're doing this on your phone, computer, or tablet doesn't really matter. This first screen is going to tell you, you know, where the job is, um, when whoever sent it to you is wanting it back by, and then who that person is. You'll also get some info around what the scope of work is. So there might be a whole paragraph here, uh, depending on how much they wrote. And then down further, you've got uh, the plans that they've sent you and they can also send things like takeoffs or extra files. So if I open any of these, you can have a flick through. Note there's a download button on the right if you want to save them uh, to your computer or wherever. And you might get ones like this that will have uh, little dots or lines or highlighted areas where the builder or whoever sent it to you is trying to uh, show you something. From here, we're wanting you to use one of these three buttons down the bottom. So either, no, I'm not going to quote on this, I'm not really interested. Or, hey, yeah, I'll quote on this one, uh, but you know, I'll do it later, and that'll send you a reminder um, so that it jogs your memory later on. Or you can say, yeah, I'll do it, and I'll go quote on this right now. I should note that if you've got any questions for whoever sent this to you, um, you can hit this messages button up here. So you might have a question about, uh, hey, before I quote, I want to know if I'm including this or I should be allowing for, um, for that. I'm going to say, I'm interested, I'll go ahead. And it'll ask for the prices at this point. So you might get one line here or you might get several. Really depends on how many prices um, you were asked for and how many prices the person sent to you. So for electrical, it might be one line or they might have split it like this into rough it and fit off or any other way. I'm going to put in my prices. And notice these prices include tax here. I can change that if I want to give prices without tax, but by default they always have tax in them. From here I go next and I can upload files. So if I've done a quote somewhere else, I can go grab that, you know, electrical quote. I can send this as a copy to myself or to someone else. And I can give some notes that will go back to whoever sent this to me. So, yeah, thanks. Let me know. Or just whatever uh, you want to tell them. Awesome. I'm going to go submit quote. That's it. Uh, note that you can make changes to this up until the deadline or until the person who sent it to you closes it off. Uh, so you can always go back if you realize in a day or two that you forgot something, you can uh, amend this. That's about it. Thanks a lot.